Hi friends, good day and welcome to today on Princess Anu TV. Hope you are doing fine and great and I hope you had a beautiful day. Today I'm going to be answering one of the questions that was asked on the mail and I'm just going to be going straight to the point but protocol must be observed. <laughs> Just in case you're new to this channel and you don't know me, my name is Princess Anu and on this channel we talk about aviation, motivation and adventure and please if you've not yet subscribed, do me that favor, click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so that whenever I post any video, you'll be able to see it. So, the question today on the mail is, I am Said from India, I would like to know about flying training. I saw your videos about pilot training. Is pilot training difficult? So that's number one question. Can't can't anyone fly without mass and physics? Number two question. And what is the min maximum age limit for pilot training? Could you please answer me? Thank you. Yes, I can answer you, Said. And I will definitely be answering you just now. So the first question here is, is pilot training difficult? Sincerely, I'm going to be telling you that Pilot training is not that, in quotes, is difficult, but it requires a lot of effort. It requires a lot of dedication. It requires a lot of money, expenses. It requires a lot of determination because there will be times, even when you have the money, even when you have the, uh, what am I going to use now to define this? Even when you think, okay, this is really what I want to do for life things are going to be clamping on you like you're going to ask yourself wait am i sure i actually chose the right thing so it's your determination that is going to keep you pushing it's your determination that is going to keep you saying that yes i decided to do this thing and i'm going to do it and i'm going to make sure i finish till the end because there are a lot of pilots that start and they do not finish trust me a lot so is it difficult my answer is no and yes it's just in the borderline but it's not really about the difficulty it's about your tenacity are you built for it like what a five-year-old child can handle is different from what a 15-year-old child can handle if you get their both minors but what they can handle is different capacity so it depends on how you build yourself to overcome what is in front of you next question can't anyone fly with math and physics truth is maths and physics are part of the fundamentals of flying see till today i'm still doing mass calculations in fact there was the, the last interview i attended they asked me to do the calculation that you're going to use this formula speed equals distance over time that you have the aircraft is flying at so so speed and this is the distance we have to cover there how many minutes is it going to take us or how many hours is it going to take us to get to that destination because that is what flying is all about you're taking passengers from destination a to destination b so if you cannot do the man do the calculation yes i know that there is calculator but when the chips are down when i mean when the chips are down when all these things are not available like maybe you you go for a job interview or maybe you are stuck or even in flight training you don't have to be using or you cannot be using calculator inside the aircraft <laughs> you will need to use your brain to calculate things so maths is very very important and you cannot fly without any mathematics i'm not talking about algebraic mathematics i made a video on concerning the type of maths you need i'm going to be leaving the link up here yeah i'm going to be leaving the link up here for that video do well to watch it but very most importantly you need maths another thing about physics physics is also a fundamental the aircraft flies by aerodynamics for you to understand aerodynamics you need a background of physics you need to know newton's law you need to know all those you know so that's why even for art students you are advised to go and do physics to add it to your uh to add it to your basic uh ssce results i know that sometimes outside the country they don't really use physics if you can pass their own flight school exams you're good to go but it's advisable that you know physics lastly what is the maximum age limit for pilot training maximum age limit i'm going to say for training there is no maximum age limit even a 60 year old a 65 year old a 67 year old can still to be trained and learn how to fly but the thing is is there a limitation to his license yes that person might not be able to get probably a a class one medicals anymore that person might just be able to get a class two medicals or a class three medical depending so that person might be maybe a recreational pilot or just a private pilot but if you want to 
you come a commercial pilot that you want to fly passengers it's always good to start early you can start from the age of 15 to start training you can get your ppl license from age of 16 get your cpl license at the age of 18 get your uh ATPL at the age of 21 and you know you keep going up the ladder before you get to 60 65 where you want to retire so these are some things you have to consider when I feel like I'm talking so fast <laughs> don't mind me. so guys uh, these are the basic things I've said today concerning these three questions that was asked in this meal I hope you've learned one or two things this is day three signing out one two three yeah day three so I'm going to be signing out right now till I see you tomorrow catch you guys if you've not subscribed, subscribe. 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 <laughs> Bye.